one and you know I think we had like maybe five or six guys that was in the top 25 in our receiving class that could come in the house. Roscoe Crosby, Ty Zimmerman, Aries Curry, and um, it was me, maybe like four or five guys in the state. They were all in like the top 25 wide receivers in, in the nation coming out that year. And um, you know, I was kind of like towards the tail end, like 25, 26. You know, and um, I actually went to the Shrine Bowl, went to my recruiting trip to Florida, went well, thought I was going there, didn't happen for me. Went to South Carolina on my recruiting trip, thought it would pan out, didn't happen for me. Right. Um, then uh, I went down to went down to Clemson too, you know, on my recruiting trip. Thought I was going to be a Tiger, didn't happen for me. You know, and um, lo and behold, I got a scholarship offer from UAB. You know, my coach knew the offensive line coach down there, and you know, and um, they linked up. There was he sent them my family. It was like, all right, we'll sign and we'll give him a scholarship tomorrow. And um, my coach was like, all right, but we don't know if he's gonna qualify because I was having qualifying issues at that time. And um, I had took the SAT maybe eight times already. You know, and um, it wasn't going well for me. I mean, I, I was improving and learning how to take the test. And you know, as that gradually got better then my score gradually went up. So eventually, you know, I had a letter and, you know, everybody wanted me to go to JUCO route, wanted me to go to junior college and, you know, and, you know, sign my letters over there. And, you know, I, I didn't want to go to Kansas, you know, and um, that was my option. And I was like, I'll get the test done, you know. And, um, you know, just going through that process, it was kind of tough for me because, you know, I wanted to go to, to a base school. I wanted to play in the SEC. I wanted to play in the ACC. But, you know, UAB just stuck with me like the whole entire time. It was like, whenever you pass that test, then you know you can sign your letter and we we'll have, we'll have a scholarship right here for you. So, you know, after signing day, you know, I got my test results back, and you know, I made my score high enough to get into college. And you know, UAB was, you know, they gave me a scholarship offer, and it was like, we'll be ready if you, you know, send in, fax in the letter. And uh, I faxed in my letter because you know the other schools kind of backed away from me and things like that, and they just stuck there the whole time, and the rest is history. <laughs> it really didn't affect my, my confidence because I had played around those guys in all-star games and things like that, so I know what my talent level was, you know, but just in certain systems and certain things, you know, players excel, and, um, you know, I was kind of like the late bloomer, you know, I wasn't, you know, right hitting my peak, like right then at high school, so I know I had a, a window of opportunity to get to. I just had to, you know, max out my talent. And, you know, it took a little bit longer for me to develop into the player that I am today, you know, coming straight out of high school. So I just think, like, in certain situations and evaluating talent, you have to look at somebody's upside and what they can bring to the table. Not right now, but maybe two or three years down the road. Basically, in the off season, I go down to Alabama and I, I got my own trainer and we just do a lot of cone drills and foot drill things and just basically at the wide receiver position, you have to be able to get in and out of breaks, you know. And um, most of the time, when you're when you're an athlete and you play the receiver position, it's it's not that hard to like get off a bump and run or you know to run, you know, ten yards out and things like that. But to get in and out of comebacks and you know, ends and, you know, and, and curls and things like that, you have to, you know, do a lot of cone drills and things like that because your feet help you get open and, you know, at all levels. So, you know, that's the most important part to me. You know, I do a lot of working with that and, you know, you you, you can naturally lift weights and things like that and, and get stronger and bigger and faster, but, you know, you have to have great feet to play the wide receiver position.